the dam first. Um, are we at capacity here? Um, does that bring you some ease, the, the heavy downpours, even though it was quite chaotic? Um, yeah. Yes, obviously we are, are thrilled to see that our dam is now full because the, the dam wall has been lifted through this uh, duck wall uh, type of design, a very unique design that they used here. So that increased our capacity by 25%. And I think we always knew that, uh, and we hoped it would be running quite soon, and I think we knew that it would probably be a fairly large downfall ultimately that, that brings it to, to the full level. And I walked here probably two weeks ago. I walked along the dam wall along the side, and it was full, a meter or whatever below. And for the, the amount of rain that then fell on that Sunday night, Monday was the last one. It came in here to have seen that overflow on Monday morning. So while we drank a little bit of water, I'll just walk this one. What capacity are we at uh, with the dam now? And does this mean the drought in this region is a thing of the past? that our dam is now full will probably give us something like 12 and a half months I think worth of, worth of water. Uh, at the previous level we were at around 10 months worth of, of water capacity but George is also growing so the, the, the usage is slowly creeping up every year and uh, so you know it's always good to have that excess water and to know that you're covered for uh, a period of time. Here we are turning our taps on in guest houses and homes and nothing's coming out. So what's yes. the situation? Yes, I think you see what, what, what happened with the downfall that we had and the flood that came down and with our water network, we've got a network of, of uh, something short of a thousand kilometers in George. And many of those pipelines lie next to the riverbanks. And what we've had is some of that flooding that has caused damage to these amazing. I was on site again this morning on a breakage that hopefully will get sorted out by this afternoon. But what the flood has done is obviously swept alone, swept away a lot of the bedding of the support. So there's now uh, the stones that have needed to put in there, there's gravel that needs to be put in, the algabians that, that need to be put in to support that pipe when we reconnect it. And as a result of that, and depending on where those connections are, Supply. There are some of the lines that our teams are looking at the present where further repairs need to be had. And you know, what uh, I'm concerned about is in some of the looking lines now literally to see if there are any spots um, where there might be further leakages taking place. That's what we need is happening. So that is impacting then on, on, on the water supply because you, you've got a balance between various. Uh, lines and networks to, to distribute the water. So, it's expected to take so. Look, this, if we, we are able to connect today, for our reservoirs to get back to full capacity, it will probably take us a good 48 hours because that's the reserve capacity that, that we then have and to get the water pressure that you are used to, for instance, in your guest house. Um, so, so that is something that we are doing, um, and and look, we uh, what we're also going to be embarking on now is this uh, very big project of increasing our, our water treatment capacity by by 50 percent. is a big project that we've gone into, and we now obtain that funding to go ahead. So it's a, it's a project that's going to be we involved in for the next four to five years.